Hello, nice to meet you. Can you see my presentation here? Yes, yes perfect. Okay, okay. Let me start the presentation. Nice to meet you. My name is Hee Jin Lee. I'm a creative director in Sonor Lee Design Studio, and also I'm teaching student in university. Let me start. Um, I think there's no boundaries, no limitation between global and uh, like uh, global and the Korean tradition, because uh, <clears throat> here we are talking about sustainable and global design here, but I'm talking about really personal uh, subject about colors. The color is very personal and how we bring colors to the world. That was my uh, question. And then I uh, will follow the colors here. For me, the design is very personal and it's also a process where colors always around me on, the, on my way. I follow them and they follow me. Yeah, I can say that my design process is a journey between sense and a sense. Yes, sense is our ability to see, feel and appreciate the space that we are creating, living and experiencing. Essence is that key factor that helps us to create a concept and idea that stay with us until the end of the project realization. When I think about color, I remember my rental apartment when I was in student in Milan and it had uh, this bright lilac colored walls. And that time I did many design projects and competition inspired by this color. You, you can see the, the colors behind. And this is a Jackson, my cat. Now I think that it was probably just because it was the only room that had a big table to work on. Um, I feel like it was a destiny for me to have this space full of color. Actually, my landlord colored this wall. In the room where I started thinking about my design future more than seven years ago. A few years later, when I returned back to Korea, I was lucky enough to open my studio, Sono Lee. Sono Lee is Italian, I am Lee, uh, here in Seoul. And now um, already on purpose, I selected this strong and deep purple color on the door the mood right when you enter the space and then you can see now purple is a part of a student uh, studio's identity it's a part of a sonolis essence i can say essence uh, the colors are everywhere everywhere in studio um doesn't matter what's the weather like outside they are source of energy that never goes down in personal life, my daughter is a source of energy for me. Yeah, I took this picture maybe one, one week ago. When I see how freely she used colors in her dressing, it's always bring me lots of joy and fun. Actually, she, she chose this color for the dress. Who knows, maybe she has a better color sense uh, than me, I think. <laughs> Um, sometimes residential project can be as well playful and without the boundaries when it comes to color because the usage of various colors can assist in creating different moods depending on project needs. While I was living in Milan, a lot of inspiration came from how colors and patterns are freely used in Italian design. And for this LG U plus apartment project, I wanted to create an interior with an essence of a European look. Maybe European disagree, but I say European look. Um, we are able to achieve that by bringing mix and match style to traditional Korean apartment. It was the assignment for me. In this apartment, um, I think, uh, wait. Yes, in this apartment, we wanted to connect all areas by using similar colors that appears everywhere. Dark orange, shades of a beige and green tones as point colors. Every color here has its own pair with a different tone from electric blue to light sky blue or with different shades changing from light peach to saturated orange. This uh, pairing helps us to connect all rooms together. 
yeah like this there's a pair of colors you can see it which brings me to the next value point while working on residential project color should be tr uh, transitional because interior mood changes even within one apartment For Samsung Bespoke project, we reflected on a wide range of colors and finishing, finishing that Bespoke product can offer. It's a good strat, uh, starting point for designers to have a freedom to express yourself. And it's a great value that product design companies like Samsung understand that. Tones and shades change from room to room, allowing interiors to have an overall palette without looking repetitive. We thought about living space as a way you choose your clothing. It can be a monochrome casual look that you can modify by using different colors of accessories. So uh, interior never stayed in the same and can be updated through time in an easy way when you feel like it. Also, when you move between areas of the house, color tones change to modify your mood from warm and neutral beige in the wardrobe zone to light eyes to ice blue tones for fresh morning in the bedroom maybe. It's especially essential to make a relation between environment and interior when space is surrounded by nature. This is Jeju. Um, every visit to Jeju Island brought a lot of vibrant natural colors to my attention. Actually, I visited before, and then I got so many inspiration from the, the landscape. It helps to create a natural palette with the touch of a mint colors to combine fresh house of sky, sea, and leaves that you can see outside. Yeah, it was important to choose beige tile, chairs with the Vienna straw and ceiling ropes that look like they belong together with really warm tone of existing wooden structure. A uh, shade of dark green marble reminds me colors of leaves on the trees that grow around. Actually, we brought this, uh, this tile from Italy, actually. <laughs> Even though not all public interiors are surrounded by nature, still you can establish a connect connection between uh, within the interior. For living store in Lotte department store, we did. As our initial concept, we wanted to make a wide open space and have an important structure element that would pass through all space in order to divide it into small zones. Concept was clear since the beginning and then we need to re rely on our design sense to choose the material and colors that will be able to express essence of the project in reality. Overall interior is done in fresh pastel tone and for the main structure, we wanted something very strong and special. Terracotta orange makes this project memorable, which is important for the client and also for Sonoli Studio. Actually, I got this uh, structure uh, inspiration from the um, Franco Albini exhibition. People remember our project after they visit the showroom, and actually from this, we get new clients, which is always extinct for a designer, so I'm really satisfied. Um, colors are a big part of my inspiration. For example, for our most recent exhibition project, we thought a lot of Pantone color of 2020, the main color, very peri. But in Sonoli, um, we never just follow the trend. Actually, uh, we always wanted to create something unexpected for us and for client. And that's what happened during Seoul Living Design Fair 2022. Uh, we were asked to make a stand for Hengbogi Kadu Kanji, Helm Living Korea, maybe magazine. But project had a super fast schedule and strict budget constraints. We need to overcome these challenges very quickly while still keeping the design essence. And that's where color helps a lot. We strategically 
created a dreamy shimmering graphic of the wall for the, the main background, the path through all the spaces. Pale pink and lilac colors, which I love in Milan, for partitions were selected to create the zoning inside the booth. As a final touch, we highlighted the all wall size with the contrast shade of blue, dark blue. Sometimes uh, for a very big project, you can combine opposite moods depending on your design strategy. For example, here, uh, entry floor was done in monochrome calm shade and green, creating peaceful and almost a meditating environment here. Um, opposite side uh, to that on another floor, shop and exhibition zones are done in very vivid and saturated colors. Um, in order to make more attractive and almost a Luna Park experience here. Sometimes it's like color therapy and you just need to allow color to guide you and take over the interior to make your joyful mood like this. For some projects, just having two contrast colors are more than enough to achieve a strong visual language of the space. It's a simple but yet effective. It's also fun to experiment with the color through different lighting design, like this interior color changing LED LED allows us to have a spectrum color palette and still belongs to the same mood. Every project is a new experience, and sometimes you find yourself doing things for a very fast, a very first time, which is always existing. Yes, I admit some experiences are more difficult than others. Project construction and client's communication can be difficult, but when you see a project realized with the colors, the new envision since the beginning is what makes it all worth it. You try to balance the concept essence and reality right till the end. And this balance is what makes you not to give up and move forward to the next challenge. Thank you very much. And I forgot to put my Instagram, the Sonoli Design Studio. Maybe you can yeah, write in Sonoli and yeah, you can find easily. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lee. That was wonderful. So great to hear your life story and the whole journey from Italy to Korea. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, this was the colorful approach in our presentation and our day today. Thank you very much. Um, it shows even the metaverse, which are the metaverse colors, let's say, which is a big topic here in Korea too. And um, I just saw in one magazine that obviously we are the megaverse country at all. Also nobody is pushing the boundaries here so far like Korea. Okay, thank you See very much. You have a, a, a also... Uh, adapted the color in your own interior <laughs> just right now. <laughs> no, now here I, I work in Italy for five years and then I'm thinking about what is Korean style and then when I think about the BTS for example BTS is a global musician but also is a Korean uh, Korean K style we can say K culture and then I want to connect this K style culture with the color that's my purpose in this studio. Thank you very I much. Probably, I think I, I...